Hi, I'm Scott from Tamarack Shack Antiques, and today I'm going to show you the difference between a three-finger bridge and a three-quarter plate 16-size pocket watch. And here we go. Here's just an overall comparison of two types of pocket watch movements. Both are 16-size Elgin's. On the right is a three-quarter plate, and this one has a three-finger bridge, and it looks like three fingers right here. Here's the first Elgin. This is a Hunter's Case Elgin. As you can see, this bridge here that encompasses the escapement and a couple of the train wheels, and it doesn't have the damascening. Here's an Elgin 241 16 size pocket watch movement. This one is for a Hunter's Case, but the difference here is the bridge is what they call a three finger bridge. When you see it in a watch book or Perhaps on the internet, it'll be abbreviated 3FB. That's 3FB. The reason for this is, namely, appearance. But the other reason, and most watchmakers would probably tell you, that this is slightly easier to work on because the top pivots, you can find the jewel holes slightly easier. The other thing to note about this watch, this one has beautiful damaskeening and it's all of that uh, almost like a snowflake pattern on the back of the movement. And they had some great designs on them. And damaskeening is abbreviated DMSK. Um, these watches were modern marvels. Uh, this was made in about 1905. So when they bought these, a watch like this might cost uh, $25, something like that, plus the case. So as you can see in the upper right part of the movement from your vantage point, this one has one solid bridge and this one has a three-finger bridge, which is actually connected, but it's still simply easier to work on and has a different appearance. And that is the difference between a three-finger bridge and a typical three-quarter plate pocket watch. Thanks for watching.